so I'm walking to work right now. You know, just listen to music. Listen to Baby Got Back. It's really hard to act normal when that song comes on. You know, just want to start dancing. Hey guys, it has been a long day and I'm very tired and I'm sunburned so that's making me feel even more tired. But there's something that, there's something that just kind of dawned on me and I feel that it's important to talk to you guys about it. So that's kind of what I want to do. I'm just gonna... So... <laughs> There have been a few people who have just randomly sent me just the sweetest messages over the course of probably the past like five months. And I can't help but think that it's because I like did this big thing where I just moved to another country, moved to the other side of the world by myself. And that, I think, is why I feel like I need to talk about this because it is a very real thing that even if someone really is very genuine on their social media, you still mainly only see, like, the good parts of their life. And that's be, I mean, that's because people don't just, like, broadcast when they're feeling down and when things are not good. I feel like everyone can agree with me that when you're scrolling through Instagram, you prefer, I mean, you go there to see like happy things, things that, you know, bring a smile to your face or that can make you laugh or whatever. And I don't think that it's like necessarily that everyone is trying to hide like, I guess the bad side of their life, like the embarrassing side or whatever you want to call it. I think, you know, some people just don't think to share the hard times with people and I guess that is what I want to do with you guys. In these messages that I've gotten, there's kind of been a theme of what people have told me and these are seriously the sweetest messages I've ever gotten from people and basically it's my friends, a couple of my friends that have reached out and told me how much they appreciate me and I just have a lot of guts to do things and I'm not afraid to, you know, be more untraditional as far as how I'm living life and whatnot. Just basically along those lines. And it like just dawned on me that they don't see me struggle. They see me in Thailand and they see my, a smile on my face because of the pictures that I post. You know, they see me teaching these little kids that I love so much and they see me walking the streets of these beautiful towns and cities that I have been able to go to and going to these amazing temples and just they see all of the highlights because you know obviously I want to show people like the cool amazing things of Thailand but I realize that they haven't seen the points where I've been down and where I've had a really hard time and where I have seriously wanted to give up because I'm human and that those thoughts come to me sometimes. I mean, there was honestly a point at the beginning of January that I was about to just give up on everything and fly back home because I just, I was so tired and the challenges that I was going through at that time, I just didn't, like, I just felt like I was fighting and fighting and fighting and nothing was getting better. I never said anything about that because I guess I just never thought about it, you know? Like, we always think of sharing the amazing things that we do in life, but we never think to share when we're down and when we're having a hard time. And that's so funny to me because Everyone has hard times. Everyone goes through challenges and things that are just, that that feel like they are taking them down. Most people feel alone and they feel weak because they look around and they scroll through their social media and see all these people living their life and just, it looks like they're living it perfectly. When in reality, 
everyone behind the scenes is going through something that most people don't know about. I guess I just want to let you guys know that yes, I have had an amazing time here in Thailand, but there have been hard days. There have been days, and like I've said this in a previous video, there have been days that I've just cried myself to sleep because it was just a hard, hard day, and that happens. And sometimes it has nothing to do with living in Thailand or the challenges I'm going through. Sometimes I honestly just start thinking about my life and I feel like I'm just going in circles. I'm not making any progress. I mean, I have really been thinking about this lately and I have decided that I feel like I'm just like going in the circle, but like I feel like I'm still moving forward. So I feel like I'm just going in the circle that's like moving forward. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, I just feel like all of the decisions that I'm making, they're really cool and I'm learning from them, but like the reason I feel like I'm going in a circle is because I just feel like I haven't figured out exactly what I want to really go for. Like I know that I love traveling and I know that I love learning about different cultures and I know that I do love teaching and love helping people as much as I can, but I don't know what I actually want to do as a career. I don't know what it is that I want to, to really just dive right into and just give it my all and, and, and fail and get up and try again and fail until I succeed. I don't know what it is, you know? Since I was eight years old, I wanted to be a surgeon. And then I hit high school and discovered I really don't like school. Then I decided I didn't want to go to college. But sometimes I still think about maybe doing something in the medical field. You know, I would have to go back to school for that. And so I'm like, okay, should I go back to school? But I also love dancing, but I've been so terrified to go for that because that is like the one thing I'm scared of failing at. And I'll, I'll get more into that in a different video. For that, I like wouldn't have to go get a degree. I can just, that's a whole other path, you know? Or I can try to start my own business, but then it's like, okay, what would my business even be? You know, it's like, there's a lot that you guys don't see behind the scenes. And I guess that I am telling you this because I want you guys to know that you're not the only one going through struggles. And just because you look at someone's YouTube or at their Instagram and you see all of these like smiling faces and these adventures and these accomplishments and happy days, everything is just happy, happy, happy. It doesn't mean that that's their life 24 seven. I'm pretty sure that's impossible. I mean, that's obviously what we all strive for. We strive to live these happy, happy lives, but Challenges and hard days are, we need those or else we wouldn't know what happiness is. So if you're having a hard time, just know that everyone around you is going through the same thing. We all go through hard things and some hard things last for a really long time. Some hard things just last for a day. You should face your challenges with a smile, honestly. It can be a smile with tears rolling down your face, but just be thankful for the things that you go through. Yeah, just don't give up. I believe in you guys. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me... Do you see how burnt I am? Oh my gosh. Like this whole area. And then on this side. And then like on my hands. And on my chest here. But oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh. Oof. Yes, it's three o'clock in the afternoon and I am sleeping because there is nothing wrong with that. <laughs> this vlog is kind of different. I guess I'm just kind of showing you guys that you know, my life isn't always like 
going off on adventures and stuff like that. Like I honestly have chill days where I don't really do much. I mean, I went to work today and then I came back home and I just feel like super tired from being out in the sun all day yesterday and like my sunburns are pretty bad. So it's just like, I don't know. You guys know what I mean? Like when you get like a really bad sunburn, it just kind of like makes you tired and just kind of exhausted. That's kind of how I'm feeling right now. So that is kind of why I am taking a nap. Also, my insomnia is like kicking my butt this week. For some reason, I just am struggling to go to bed at night, but like I'm so tired and so uh, it's been a struggle. But like my body still wants to wake up at five in the morning, but like I don't want to wake up because I'm, I'm tired, you know? So I'm also like low key kind of trying to catch up on sleep too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I am like literally calming down from like hyperventilating. <sighs> okay guys, so story time, obviously. Ooh, let me put my face in front of the fan. <laughs> I was thinking the other day, well actually I've been thinking this for like a couple weeks now. I'm like, okay, I feel like it's like time for a spider to show up in my apartment. It, that would be too good of luck to be able to live here in this apartment for the full five months and not see a spider. I just feel like there has to be one at some point, you know? And so uh, I don't use my blanket anymore. So if you guys see, it is actually just like chilling right there and it like doesn't move. I occasionally will like unfold it to just make sure there's no spiders living in there. But I was just getting up from my computer. So I was here at my desk and I was getting up and I see something on like the corner of my blanket. And I'm gonna show you guys what I saw because it looks like spider legs that are like, like there's a spider tucked in and like some of his legs are just like chilling. Okay, see right there? And so I like kind of get on my bed. I'm like crawling on my bed to like try to see and I'm like starting to shake. I'm like, uh, and I like stand up, I'm like, okay. Okay, sorry, you're not gonna freak out. You can deal with this. You can face your fear with spiders. You're gonna do it, you're gonna kill it. And so I go and get my Jesus sandal down here. And I'm like, I'm like, I have it up. And I'm like, <laughs> and so I'm like, okay, I need to make sure that this is like actually a spider. And so I'm like, the only way I can tell is if I get closer. And so I'm like crawling and I'm like shaking. And I finally get close enough and see that it's just strings. And I'm like, <sighs> okay. Anyway, guys, I've seen some gigantic spiders since living here, and so that's why I'm like super paranoid. I'm always paranoid, but you know. They're so big here, oh my gosh. Anyway, now I feel like one's on me, and yeah, okay, I should go.